Yo, what is up, bros? We are back with some Strategic Command World War II World at War. When we had left off, our drive into the Soviet Union had kind of slowed down. I wouldn't say completely stalled out, but it's definitely slowed down. It is December 19th, 1941. Our Finnish bros have really not done anything. Army Group North, uh, kind of too spread out, handling pockets to really be able to drive on Leningrad. Although I do think I'm going to pull these two panzers back because the uh, the supplies are crap here. I'm going to pull them back, uh, get these pockets destroyed, and then I'm going to do a wide swing uh, around Leningrad and see if that ain't better. Going through here is stupid in my opinion. So we're not going to do that anymore. Army Group Center is really getting no push because... Same thing with Army Group North. They've been back here destroying pockets, but we'll get all these troops on the front and we should be able to make a good drive on Smolensk. Army Group South is still pushing as it should. It got way more troops than any of the other army groups. And um, Italy had declared on Greece. They're, they're actually making quick work of them. And then we had the Africa Corps who had just retaken Benghazi and that is where we are going to leave off and see what happens in these next two weeks. Japan declares war on the Philippines. USA mobilizes for war. USA joins the Allies. The United States declares war on Germany. The United States declares war on Italy. Japan declares war on Dutch East Indies. Japan declares war on Thailand. All hell is breaking loose. Japan declares war on New Guinea. Japan declares war on Hong Kong. Japan celebrates the capture of Wake. Japan celebrates the surrender of the Philippines. Hong Kong surrenders. The Philippines surrenders. Thailand surrenders. All right, we've got a decision. There's a potential threat of an amphibious invasion from the Western Allies along the northern coast of France. It is therefore recommended that we strengthen our defenses by constructing static coastal def gun batteries near Brest, uh, Le Havre, and Calais. Uh, yeah, obviously. Graf Zeppelin Carrier Commissioned for Duty. The 10th Army forms in Jerusalem. General MacArthur arrives in Australia. Allied governments sign the United Nations Declaration calling for complete victory over the Axis. Coastal Command AHQ Iceland formed. The U.S. sends General Stilwell to China. There he has already got him a hot chick. Germany construction Atlantic wall defenses. Noise. Soviet winter strikes. Oh shit. That's all my units taking damage. I'm afraid to even look. With both the United States and India now engaged in war against us, we must expand our targets to include the U.S. East Coast, the Caribbean, as well as possibly the Indian subcontinent. Our service fleet must intensify the activity of laying mines to disrupt the coastal shipment, shipping and supplies of our enemies. Well, it doesn't do... They're, the Allied fleet's too big. It doesn't matter where I send them. They get destroyed. German advice of Yugoslavian partisan situation. Heavy tanks now available for production for Germany and Italy. All right, so we got some garrisons. We're gonna have to put one, another one down here. Handle the partisans in Yugoslavia. I wanted to get one down here in Bordeaux because there was some partisan activity down there. And then we've got some army corps. Let's put one with Army Group Center. We'll throw one up here with Army Group North. And then another Finnish core will be thrown right. Cha. Okay, Finnish garrison, make me proud. Well done. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I just keep thinking that one of these points, 
The Finnish troops are going to do something amazing. But it hasn't happened yet. Let's see if we can't knock this port down to nothing so this pocket will be getting zero supplies. Yep, it's down to nothing. And we'll do the same to this one down here. Okay, these two pockets should be getting no supplies now. And retreat from this horrible position that we're in here. Wreck a Soviet cavalry division. Army group center's about to go crazy. They got their Italian backup coming in now. It's all over. Look at this, we're already almost on the outskirts of Smolensk. All right, Army Group South, what you got? Damn, nice hit. Well, can any of you do any damn? We might be able to take this. That's good for two military points. Like a major hub or something. Okay, let's go ahead and switch these guys out. Nice. Can anybody move into that? Nobody can move into that. Damn it, that, that would have been a nice pickup. Oh, shit. Forgot about him. Yeah, I wanted to swing all around here. Now, now I will, now that we got that. I'll try to swing around to the north. Maybe, like, do a huge loop to Rostov. Attack twice with a Panzer unit and get no damage. Kiev has been taken. That should be good for the uh, supply situation down here. And then, of course, we had the Italians attacking. The Damn. Nice hit. Oh, there. Yep, there was a, definitely a landing up here. I'm going to send a few. Uh, yeah, we'll send it. One German, two Italians. That should be good. And move on. Yeah. This is bad. This is not going to take long even for the Italians. To wipe out the Greeks. And then we had the Africa Corps, which I think... I think a lot of these troops need to be reinforced. I'm going to have to delay our attack to do this. Not something I really want to do, but much needed before we lose, lose a pan. The last thing we want to do is lose one of our panzer units. That would be that would be devastating. Uh, I think that's going to be a wrap for January 16th, 1942. Uh, we'll focus on the weak enemies and go ahead and knock them out. And then everywhere else we'll do reinforcements and upgrading. Greek morale suffers as Prime Minister Alexandros commits suicide. Still got some partisan problems going on in Yugoslavia. Need more garrison troops. All right, we've got two uh, cores and a Romanian tank to throw down. Cores will go towards the north or center. I want to see what I want to see the Romanian tank go to work. I want to see what the Romanian tank got.
Well, let's start out with our finish bros again. How can a core do no damage to a garrison? So disappointed in the Finnish truce, man. I was thinking they were going to be a lot better. Well, at least we took them. And then we got this pocket we're still working on. And it don't look like it's gotten... We got him. One less thing to worry about in the north. And also, that pocket's down. All these troops that were back here can now get to the front. Reinforce our panzer. Keep pressing the attack. With the troops that have a decent amount of health. You would think bombing an armored train would do like a massive amount of damage. But if you were to think that, you would be wrong. This is where the interesting stuff's happen. Now you know Krakow's not going to be open. But we can probably move up just enough to cut off some... Yeah, they got that well defended. Move up just enough to cut off some of the supplies here. Oh shit, yeah, they... Krakow is really well defended. We're not going to be busting through that anytime soon. Even if we're not taking any land down here, we are causing them to have to spend their money on, um, on reinforcing their troops. Got it. Looks like we're going to be able to bust through the garrison. Yep, we got him. On to Athens. Oh, they got an HQ down here. Taking out a destroyer. Ha! They moved in on us and we have quite a few subs just ready. Uh, you can't run, bro. No, I hit it, but... Shit. I was gonna take damage. I can't attack with him, because uh, he's just about out of health. Back to the Africa Corps. Let's try to cut off the supplies to Tobruk. Done. Uh... Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll wait around to attack. So, as far as new units, um, I'm just trying to get a core out each round. We're going to keep that up as long as we can. February 13th, 1942 comes to an end with Finnish troops still not doing much. The pockets that were holding up Army Group North and Army Group Center have been the Molish. They can all move up to the front. We got that new tank advancement we need to put on all our tanks when we get a chance. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit worried about these guys right here, in between rounds. I think they're about to be counterattacked. Anyways, with that, let's go ahead and see what happens in the next two weeks. The Dominican Republic joins the Allies. Dutch troops destroy vital installations before surrendering. Weak. Japan celebrates the capture of the Dutch East Indies. Japan seizes Portuguese Timor without prior Portuguese approval. 
Back to the do nothing finish troops. They can't seem to get anything done here. Okay, let's go ahead and finish off what resistance was left in the Baltics. Looks like we got it. Damn, you know what? Taking that port out did help a lot. That's actually pretty surprising. All right, well, now that we have that, our supplies should improve greatly. It would be nice before the end of this to be able to capture Smolensk. That would mean the pathway... Damn, look at that. The pathway to Moscow would be open. Now, this was the part that was worrying me down here. And he did take some major damage. How much can I heal him right there? Yeah, that's probably pretty good. He'll survive that. All right, Army Group South. Kind of need to pick it up a bit. You're missing your goals. I wonder if this is open. If this is open... Oh, shit! We just cut off like half their supplies right there. I'm still not done with the attempt to outflank them. I have not gave up on that yet. Although it keeps looking less and less likely, I'm not done yet. Alright, let's finish off these partisans. I'm sick of partisan activity. And now... Let's see if we can't bomb Athens and get anything out of it. Alright, back to Tobruk. It looks like it worked. All we needed to do was wait a little bit. We got it. We got it. Nice, that should help out our supply situation. So that's going to end uh, March 13th, 1942. We should be out of winter completely by next uh, round, I hope. British commandos raid Narvok in Norway. Uh, Spain's leading a little bit more towards the Axis. Noise. We got a pro-Axis coup in Iraq. Iraq prepares for war. What? Iraq joins the Axis. Thousands of Polish soldiers and civilians leave the USSR. The Finnish 2nd Garrison was destroyed and the Romanian 5th Corps was destroyed. The Italian Embassy in Baghdad reports that Rashid Ali needs weapons, money, and air support. Apparently they're going to need a little bit of our support as well. Let's do it. German pressure on Syria moves it towards the Axis. Alright, Army Group North, you're going to have to chill just for a little bit. Before we move you out. I guess some of you can move out. You're not all in just like really crappy of spot. We're going to be in Demansk. Alright, let's see if we can't take out their aircraft with our tank. Seems really strange saying that. Yep, we got it. Ha! Looks like we've destroyed them. More territory of the Soviets fall into German control. Alright, now what the hell is going on down here? They just got three tanks out of nowhere. Oh! We're gonna be able to take this! Nice! That's a... That's a pretty big pickup, I think.
Then the Romanians are pretty... Romanians are actually pretty good. See, tell me that the armored trains don't suck. I mean, I'm glad that I did not purchase one because I wanted to just because it sounded cool. But they're absolute crap. I think Athens is going to fall next round. Well, I'm going to move up um, to El Alamein. Well, actually, let's move up to here. No way. They left that open. I'm saying it's time now to finally build a heavy tank. We got the third Panzer. All right, April 10th, 1942 has come to a wrap. The Finnish troops blow still. The Baltic states have been cleared. We're working on the outflanking maneuver towards Leningrad. Looks like we might get a pocket near Demansk. We are in, we might be able to take Smolensk. And this down here is, I mean, we made a little bit of headway. Let's go. Syria leans towards the Axis, which is good. I mean, not that they'll help out that much, but they will um, allow us a place to land. Mexico joins the Allies. The arrival of German assistance strengthens Iraqi resolve to resist the Allies. Hold on a little bit more, bros. We, I don't know how long it's going to take us to get through Egypt, but maybe we could save you... Egyptian nationalists rise up against the British as the Axis approach Cairo. Nice. Okay, we got a destroyer, a core, and a false Jagger. Core. Oh no, I'm throwing him up there. I'll, I'll give you guys the false Jagger unit down here. How about that? We are going to get the British out of our waters. Even got an aircraft carrier up here. Aircraft carrier, meet the Bismarck. Yeah, that's right, you had better run. Oh, if we could sink a British aircraft carrier, wouldn't that... We got it. That was a nice score right there. Alright, we're going to keep moving up here. We got to keep the pressure up. Alright, can you finish off the job? You got it. Another Soviet city has fallen. As far as you, let's cut you off. Demolish you. And then move on like nothing happened. That actually just did damage. And we can't... Another Soviet city has fallen. Alright. The Soviet tanks are no match for the German Panzers. Get wrecked. 
And another Soviet city has fallen. Their tanks. Why are your tanks so shitty? My infantry are taking them out. I don't understand why their tanks are such crap. Yeah, this tank's gonna be gone too. Rip. I kinda left this down here open. I need more troops down here, I think. I don't know what's going on with these troops down here, but they are battle hot. And a garrison unit comes in and takes them out. Oh, they still got a chance here. If somebody can... Boom! The Italians have just taken Athens and with it, Greek surrender is imminent. Well, you know where I'm headed. I'm headed for the HQ. Does not look like we can take him out. Damn it. I was hoping we could finish him off. There we got it. Nice. Okay, so we bought Romania tank. Uh, Hungary's jealous, so we're gonna have to buy them a tank as well. There you go. Enjoy. Well, I think that's gonna be a wrap. May 8th, 1942. Finnish troops really didn't do anything. I mean, they moved up here a little bit. That's about it. Uh, cleared out the Baltic states, destroyed some pockets. Gotta get these tanks here for this flanking maneuver on Leningrad. Uh, Smolensk looks like it'll fall next episode. And we did make some pretty good headway in the south. The Italians took out the Greeks. Pretty much cleared out the Mediterranean of forces of the Allies. And we advanced all the way to Cairo. So with that, bros, that's going to be a wrap. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Stop the like and subscribe with the notification bell. And I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Ruminati out.